Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I am Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva, and we are going to do some fancy belting today. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, first of all, we're going to do the most exciting thing first because, you know, I made a couple of mistakes with motor production, with a, which uh, someone noticed. Thank you very much for that. It was my chronic flipsia coming into play, but we are going to do the Dyson Sphere first. Now, the Dyson Sphere... Uh, is composed of sails and rocket parts and the rockets that's you know th those are the things that we're going to shoot up there to make the sphere now um i think that we don't have that many rockets it's one rocket per second and we wanted to make some rocket makers, which I don't know if we set those up yet or not. I don't think we did. Um, I think I got a tiny bit distracted. I had some IRL stuff going on and we were gonna make those down by where I was. So we didn't need all this flying. <laughs> so let's get right into that then and make those wonderful rocket launchers. Okay, we needed lenses for those. Did I actually make them? No, I did make them. Look at that. They are there already in my inventory. Okay, so this launches five per minute. Uh, that's pretty slow, I think. I'm not sure actually. Launch speed five per minute? Hmm. Anyway, what I was thinking is I really want to just see them launch. And so it would be nice to have them on our home planet. So I was thinking about actually putting them right here. Um, and I think that's a good plan. I, you know, there is the slight issue of, yeah, they're going to be blocked by this planet when the planet's in front, but you know, it doesn't really matter that much because I just want to see him launch. I want to see it happen. It's a huge culmination of what we've been doing here so far. So I think it would be good to just do it. So we're going to do it. Okay. I want to set up, um... Let's see. Uh, we can have a tower over here, maybe. Uh, or somewhere else. But I want to set up these launchers kind of close. Let's have a couple here. I think we can put a you belt between a there. There we go. You can use it to construct the main of the there we go. Construct the main structure of the Dyson Sphere. To finish planning the Dyson Sphere. Yes, we, he's telling us we need to design the thing, which I kind of agree. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to finish. You know what? Maybe not. Let's go maybe in front here. Um, these go... Are these entrances? No, it looks like entrances. I kind of forgot how to do this. But I think these are the entry ports. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's go ahead and get... I don't know how many we're going to need... If it's five per minute, we may actually need quite a bit more. Let's put them like this so far and then set up a tower here to import these guys. Well, not these guys specifically, to import uh, the specific things we need, which are called rockets. Oh, this is so exciting. We're going to get rockets right now. Okay, let us import rockets. Let's go. I want them. Um, we're going to import, let's say... I don't know, 3,000? Sure. Remote demand. Let's go. And here they come. They are already coming out here. We can put maybe, let's put six ships. I can't imagine needing more than that uh, right now. So let's leave those there. We're going to go ahead and hook this up to some electricity. We also need warpers. Do we have warpers coming in anywhere? Hello? Where, the, where are these warpers? Let's see. There are some in this tower. Is that them? Yes, there they are. Are they going in or out? They must be coming in. So I think we can just... Oh my god. Um, yeah, alright. I'm just trying to like figure out how do we do this. And so here we're going to get some little bit of divaness going on here. Let's go up a tiny bit there. And then down a tiny bit there. And go there and up, up and over. It's a tiny bit, uh, yeah, not ideal, but it's just fine. It really is just fine. Let us get a sorter here. Put that, oh, okay, it's a tiny bit too long, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and that will get us some warpers so that these guys can, can fly. We also need to hook it up to the electric grid. 
Let's get that over here. I feel I feel the congestion of the towers everywhere, getting everywhere. So, uh, all right, how are we gonna do this? Can we go like this? Yes, can we go like that? Nope. Okay, so this is going to be our closest line of building. Uh, and I wonder if we can, can we reach that far? Probably, yeah, all right, no problem. There we go, that's easy, easy. Okay, let's put this one there. <laughs> and guess what's gonna come out? Oh, the rockets are gonna come out right here. This is so nice. Oh, I'm so excited about this. All right, power, we need power, hello, power poles. Uh, looks like we can have one for those two and then one for these two. Oh, 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 wait. Oh my god, rockets are happening. Rockets are actually happening. But they're not going to happen very long because we actually <laughs> haven't designed our Dyson Sphere yet. And we're going to do that momentarily. Let's see. I just want to get these connected and then we can have an extra little power pull for that one sort of there. All right, we are delivered. We are loaded. We are opening the editor. You can also get to the Dyson Sphere editor by clicking this icon, which we don't often access. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go on layer one. And if you see this green part, that is the part that we can add um, the sphere to. Any design we want, we have two different grids. We can either go square grid like this, or we can go geometric grid, which gives us like uh, triangles. And we can add points at a time, or we can do points with lines. Um, and then, yeah, and then this thing, the shell, will fill in those points. Now, initially, if you... Uh, if you remember, we did this research for the Dyson Sphere stress system, okay? And that gave us 15 degrees of area to build on. When you initially unlock the sphere and the rockets and stuff, you can only literally build a point-to-point -point line around the equator of the thing. So right now we have 15 degrees. And I think, I think I want to start some research because we've run out. So let's get maybe we can get white science let's get that uh, and then maybe the artificial star afterward and then maybe another uh, 15 degrees on our dyson sphere anyway we'll let those continue uh, and so here when we're looking at this shell we actually have that 15 degrees and it's 15 degrees above and below the center center line on this so what i'm gonna do is i thought about what i wanted to do and last minute, I kind of changed my mind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tick this box off so that the sphere doesn't keep spinning because you see how it's moving. <laughs> Makes it really hard to do stuff. Um, so anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to write something here. I'm gonna start with maybe the square grid. Okay, so we can have this. Uh, yes. I haven't actually practiced this because I had an idea and then I, decided against and I'm not sure if I can actually do this particular idea we will see um let's see let me x this no this is not wanting to work um okay what can I do here I think let's let's get this one out yeah, I had this particular very specific idea that I was going to do and then I decided not to do it. That that will work if I do this. And then that gives me a tiny bit of space on the inside, possibly. Maybe. Hmm, no, that doesn't look right at all. See, and here I thought I was going to do something really fun here but the thing is messing me up um the uh points have to be two away from the other bits or it doesn't work and that's the problem i'm suffering with at this moment but we'll go ahead and just leave this one for now and maybe we'll just kind of do an outline because that might seem more fun anyway let's go ahead and do that instead 
And we're gonna do spelling. Yes. Okay, so we want two and then maybe this. Sure. There we go. And the rest of this is much easier. Let's go this way first. Ah, there we go. Okay. This is four, sure. Um, take this up over there. Is this gonna be too long? Nope, it's okay. We have one word. Mm-hmm. And then the next word shall be here. We're going to leave, let's see, instead of two spaces, we'll leave four. And of course, you don't have to write something when you do yours. You can, um, you can just do a geometric design or whatever you want, actually. So it's not a pre prerequisite to write something. It's going to be... Go. It's not also the perfect <laughs> writing system either. <laughs> oh, oh, can't do there. Okay, let's do a compromise. Can I do it on this? No, that's uh, not good. That is not good right now. Let's see. I want to do a V, but we may have to do a, a shortened line like this. Okay, is that too, too wide? Nah, we still have the whole half a sphere to go, don't we? All right, good, good. Uh, we can do there. Aha, that works. I think that's nice. And then we can do our A very similarly. Uh, can we? Yep, we can do up here and two. Nice. I hear Avon has a really cool sphere going too should check out his. I know he's recently added um, the inner parts and it looks awesome. Okay, so this is not not working either, but that's okay. You know what? We can just be extremely like avant-garde about this. I think that works. I think it looks pretty neat. I guess with this one, we could make this line maybe further out. But I wonder what we could do is just put dots here to represent. Nah, it looks a little bit silly with the dots. And then if you want to add the shell, like here you can, you can see it lights up completely. You can add the shell there and that is where it's going to be solid. However, I think I might even use the negative space in between. So I'm just going to connect these lines up here and fill on the in-between instead. So uh, I want to do like, I can do, can we do this whole area? There we go, nice. There we go, it's happening. But we need to connect a few more of these lines here. And if the area is too big or it doesn't want to connect for some reason, you can always divide it up and that will definitely help this whole thing. Now, in general, when you're building your sphere, um, you have these nodes and the nodes are the little star shaped looking things there. And then they're connecting bridgy things. Um, and when the uh, sphere is constructed, the rockets end up in the nodes and they're they're the most expensive part of this sphere so in general you want to have less nodes and more shell that's the more kind of efficient way of doing things there we go oh looking fabulous whoa here we go this is a fun i haven't i haven't done this before actually the whole like if it can't find all the 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 spaces like here if I just move it down it like ah oh, hello I found it that's nice <laughs> so I'm like wow that's great so and I think what we can do here is just kind of connect this to the top here 
and then just add a little bit of filling there. Oh, look at this. Is that not great? This is great. I think it's pretty good. And here, I think I want to just add a little bit of, um, I don't know, space. And then we'll fill that as well. Belt Diva. Mm, taste is nice. All right, so let's go run the game. And you can see if you run the game while this is working, it's a little bit annoying to try to fill that in. And here we go. Let's go, Rockets. Woo! Each solar sails provide All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to watch this happen. Ooh, come on. Let's go. All right, we are going. Now, are those our rockets? I think those are our rockets right there. Those ones there, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty sure. Sort of sure? Maybe sure. Oh, there they go. They're doing stuff. I'm going to follow them. And our rocket launchers are going to keep on launching. Oh, there they go. Look, those were our rockets. Those were our rockets. Oh, how do I slow down? I forgot. Jeez, I haven't done this in such a long time. Nay. No. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm going to go toward one of these nodes so you can see what it looks like. Oh, this is so great. Look at this. They're populating already. And I believe it does the nodes in the order that they're placed. So... Let's go and catch up with them a tiny bit. All right, so here we can see the next rockets are actually entering the nodes as well. They kind of have this structure where they have this like little spiky stuff sticking toward the star. All right. Oh, oh, navigating, navigating, going in. There it goes. Look at it going into the nose of the node. Let's slow down a bit. It's hard to keep up with these things and not like go past them so I'm gonna do my best here but they are really cool things and we can kind of see where they are if we let's go a little bit slower oh there goes another rocket it's gonna get eaten by the thing let me go and look at our Dyson sphere so we can see what's happening here so here are the rockets and they are up here we are at the top of the B and you can see the rockets entering the node. And you can click on these nodes and see the progress of them. So uh, what this is, is the structure points are the rockets needed. So it needs 190 rockets. It has, um, I forget which one is which, but one of them is current uh, rockets that have been added. And the other is rockets that are on the way that are literally traveling there. So, okay, so currently we have nine, three are traveling. That's how to read this. And the cell points are the solar sails that are gonna be added. So when do the solar sails get added? Uh, they, what happens is these nodes have to reach a certain completion point. And what that means is they kind of fill up and then they start building these bridges to the other nodes. And those are all part of the structure points. Uh, and then once that is completed, we're going to see the solar sails actually uh, starting to fill in this area. You don't even have to have these structure points completed like these little bars here uh, before they start getting in there. But I'm so excited about this. This is really thrilling. Now, how do you get the, uh, the cells in there? The solar sails? Well, they just come right from the swarm. So if you already have a swarm, you're in luck. This is, uh, this is good times for you then. Uh, because they're just going to come right from here and they're just going to be eaten automatically. And you're actually going to see what is on the title screen. We, we thought that that was like, okay, what the heck is this? No, that is actually in the game. So let's see, how many does this one have? This one has six out of 100. Um, and then the reason they have different, like this one has 70, it has to do with how long these bars are that are the connecting. So, for example, this one has two connecting bars, so it only has 70, but this one has three. And it kind of has like half of the bar, and then the other side has the other half that it has to fill in. So I'm really excited, kind of waiting for us to get these uh, solar sails going in there. That is going to be really, really exciting. So where are we? Oh, wow, we're still actually sort of near these things. So here are those three top nodes of the bee. 
Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my god. Oh, this is thrilling. Well, that's fun. Those ships passing in the night. <laughs> that's so cool. Anyway, we're going to look at this uh, soon and, and find out the rest of this. Oh, we got white science. Excellent. All right. Um, let's go back to our planet, though, because we can keep on building and keep on getting stuff done here. Let's go back there and see what we can do. Oh, this is exciting, though. Isn't it? Isn't it thrilling? I love this. This is one of the best parts of the game. The solar, uh, the sails, the swarm, and then the sphere. I have to say, you know, when um, developers make a game, sometimes they call it something which is just a very abstract concept. Like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, we'll have an icon for that. And this is actually building the thing, which I love to bits. It is so, 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 so good. All right, I want to see um, how fast the rocket launchers are functioning and if we need more of them. Because five per minute sounds very slow. And I don't know if I should believe it or not. So if we need one per second... That's going to be like 12? Really? Might be. Man. Um, they are functioning at 70% electricity. Yeah, they, it is 5 per minute. Wow. Huh. That seems like... So let's see. If we have 60 seconds in a minute... I am calculating this, right? Hold on. Let's see. 60 divided by 5... It's 12, yep. Yeah. So that means we really need 12. Wow. I'm having a hard time believing this because it feels like, geez, that's a lot of rocket launchers. But hey, if we need it, we need it. Let's go and build more then. What were we lacking last time? Um, let me see. Do -do -do. We need to look at buildings. We have to be in the right tab for this. That would help. Oh, that's right. We were missing titanium alloy. That was one of the things that we were very short on. Uh, does this one have it? No, not quite. This one? Yeah, it does. It's only getting seven, though. Uh, I think we really need to revamp our steel production. Uh, and I think what is happening is that all of the deposits on this planet are running dry. So this may be a time where we really need to kind of like farm a lot of this stuff out and go elsewhere for stuff. Okay, so let's see. Can I grab this? I can grab some. And also one thing that we can look at is the Dyson Sphere thingy. We're already generating 8.78 megawatts. And that is permanent power. That is... Oh, oh, oh. Look, 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 look. We are having things constructed. Check it out. Aha! So this one has had 36 rockets delivered. And yeah, it's keeping on going there. Excellent. Oh, this is exciting. This is so good. All right, let's find out where the rest of this titanium is hiding out. Steal it from elsewhere. Yeah, we're naughty. We're bad. We're bad to the bone. Yeah. I'll take this. Thank you. 800 for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, What else did we need for those? We needed lenses, I remember. Um these guys can we make one let's make one let's get lenses now just gonna like pick up stuff as we can uh maybe i'll drop one of those so i can make one aha i can make more now good okay good good want to add more I can do one more. Now I need quantum chips. Hmm. Those are made. Oh, they're here. That's right. Did we uh, shut off production of these? Ah, yes, we did. We shut off the rest of the world from these. So that's fun. So we're not getting any more green science currently. We need to set that back up. There's another two. Okay, what are we missing now? Now we're missing those? Oh, geez. This is this kind of like crazy shopping trip, right? Where you just like go from one side of the planet to the other. So we have four. We need eight total of these guys to have 12 um, launching at a rate of one per second. Uh, let's see. These were in here. Let's get 
three of those. Okay. Okay. How many is that now? We have, is that, does that say five? I think it says five. We have how many? Four. Oh, nice. That's nine. Excellent. We can make another one. Okay. I think that's all we need to make right now. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this back in there. Uh, we really don't need to be carrying it with us. So we're going to have more than enough right now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get that quantum chip box uh, <laughs> not collecting from our only source of green science. Uh, because that is kind of unfriendly. We can't do this and we certainly do not want to run out of warpers either. So let's see. Um, let's do this. Just close it off. And just get this belt reconnected. There we go. Um, I think we're going to make one stack. We're going to do this and then just let the rest go into green science because we really need this. We also need the warpers. Okay, let's put these lenses back. We don't need them on us. All right, and I want to see, is it happening? It's happening. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, look, it's happening. <gasps> this is exciting. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what's happening until we get there so you can see it for yourself. Oh, this is thrilling. Look, do you see on the horizon? Look. We have things coming out of orbit. Oh, this is great. Look at that. Oh, we got to go faster, faster, faster. I don't want to go for too fast because you have to like slow down. So um, we're going to just go. We're going to go. Oh, this is so great. All right, we're going to slow down a bit. Slow down and watch it happen. Watch the title screen come to life before our eyes. Check it out. We got the blues floating in here. Oh my goodness. This is great. This is so great. Oh my god. Oh, this is wow. This is the wows, really. So the solar sails are being added to the perfection of our Dyson Sphere. Let's go up here and so you can see a better view, maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There, you, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it go. Look at it go. Wait, let's go up a bit. Let me try to get you a better view of this here. Kind of want to, like, there we go. Let's go up, 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 up. And then gaze downward. We need to go faster up. Come on. I think we're losing it. We're going out of the orbity area. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that being constructed there. That is nice. Wow. Slow down. It's really hard to get the speed going right here. The whole like, why can't we have a synchronous <laughs> orbit here, please? So here we have one of our nodes. We can see the cells being added. That's these little hex grids. And these are our beautiful, beautiful solar sails coming in from the swarm. Wow, that's so great. Oh, this is so cool. Love this. Wow. <laughs> we have these curls of stuff. Ah, oh, that's amazing. So anyway, you get the idea. They are coming in from the swarm. Um, and we are just, yeah, we're just, we're just hanging out here. This is amazingly cool. There it goes. And we can see where we are here. Let's look at our, um, not that. We want to look at this. We want to see what we're, what we're, what are we building here? Okay. So we're actually building the outside corners of the bee and this thing, let's see. Can we see how many pieces this is? We can actually see here somewhere. Oh no, I know where we go. I forgot. So, interestingly, <laughs> let's find our planet again. Uh, hello? Hello? Where are you? Alright, let's find our planet. Okay, so we're facing this way, and I want to see where... Ah, oh, it's that way. Okay. Wait, we were supposed to be this way. Somewhere there? Where? 
Okay, let's just face a direction and then get a better view on our star map here. Mustabon 3 is up and to the left. There we are. Perfect. So this is exciting. Oh my god, this is so thrilling. Oh yes. Anyway, so weirdly, there is no display on the uh, Dyson Sphere um, planner thingy. Uh, it isn't there. I mean, you can see the individual nodes and how many uh, cells they support, but you can't really see the other parts, which are very important, I find, actually. Oh, no, no, autosave, don't kill us. No, oh, nice. Okay, here we go. Take it one flight at a time there. I kind of meant to crash down because I didn't want to go totally wonky here. Did I go to the... No. Hold on. I went the wrong way. There we go. This is the correct way. I want to get back to our launchers. Oh, there they are. You can see them launching into the atmosphere. Yay. All right. So we need many of these. It seems like we may even need more solar sail launchers. But if you click on this thing, uh, it will tell you that we have 8,800 structure points. So that means 8,800 rockets. That's a lot of rockets. It really is. So anyway, that's what we are kind of shooting for right now. Go ahead and move this, even though collide with other object. Let's take that off. I'm going to have the belt go on the top side of these, I think. There and there. I think that's room. Is that room for a belt between? Let's see. Yes, we can go there. Let's just add a belt there and then we'll add one here. Can I add one here? I can. How nice. Maybe we can just kind of go around that one. We'll see. We're out of building space. But I can build it here. That would be nice. That's actually probably a better way to lay them out. Okay, let's let's fix this. Let's make them a little bit more space efficient. Even though I kind of like... We'll just do like a conga line here. Yeah, that's much more space efficient. That's the that's the new thing. We're gonna have a conga line. <laughs> I'll keep the original ones the way they are. Okay, we need one, two, three, four, five. We need eight all together. Uh, six, seven, and eight. Yep, that works. Now, question: Should I do them the other way? So that, um, well, what I was thinking is having a belt on the bottom here is going to be impossible. I think that this belt will not go over these things. No, not at all. So we'd have to have the belt on the top side here. Like that. And that will work. That's fine. We'll, we'll just go around it. It's fine. I was thinking about moving the whole thing, and then I'm like, eh, I don't know. It's not really necessary. It's okay. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, and then take this thing up this way. We can just have another belt feeding it. Let's go here. Actually, let's go here. Let's just leave this open in case we need to import some stuff. I guess I should have uh, put the inserters on here so, so I could do the copy and pasting of inserters. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that too far? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is not ideal. Huh? Oh, it fits there. So maybe, maybe those others are a little bit uh, misaligned. I need to fix that. Get, hello? Out of building range? No, really? I'm not out of building range. Where, where am I? Hello? 
<laughs> okay. I was stuck on the edge there. Oh no. So these guys are not good. Here. Let's add that one sorter over there. There you go. Ah, then we can use our building thing anyway. Good, good. Nice. Okay. And they fit. Perfect. Let's get our power poles now. Let's see, make sure that they are in range of what we want them to be. That one does not cover this one, though. Let's get that one there. This might be a really good spot to have these guys, actually, the substations. And I might be able to put them between. Can I? Maybe? I had one here. Hello? Maybe? No? No. There? Oh. Okay. That's not really ideal, is it? Alright. I'll leave those two power poles there and then just use the substation for here. And then get the last one with a nice little power pole there. Perfect. Okay. Now we got rockets going. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. Rockets galore! Holy fuzzy cats! Wow. This is really nice. Really, really nice. Oh. Oh, oh, they're gonna shoot again. Wow. It is so cool watching them go up. Alright, let's see. Oh, now these are gonna go. Wow, that's so cool. Dang, that's amazing. All right, so let's see our Dyson Sphere. Things are happening. Check it out. Ooh. Okay, so this has 107 rockets already in there. It has 320 of cell points. Um, and you can see the generation capacity has already grown quite a bit to 38 megawatts. Um, when you have both of these things happening at the same time, then, you know, your power is definitely going to grow. Now, the notice that because we are decreasing the swarm, this number is going to go down. Definitely going to go down. And the faster you launch your rockets, the faster it's going to go down. Um, the other thing that we found out um, via multiple people just checking this out, a lot of great, great, awesome people in our Discord. Shout out to you guys. Um, we have discovered that cell points in um, the, the generation capacity of cell points is less than it is in the swarm. And that means if you're relying on your swarm for a lot of your power, uh, just beware that it's going to be, it's going to go down, you know, especially if you are uh, making really quickly and, you know, you see the, the blues, they are migrating again here. And so this number, you know, you might end up in a power crisis. So just be careful about that. I think I'm going to have a power crisis because, man, I've got all these launchers going and everything like that. So let's see. Yep. Look at this. This is not happy times. Let me go and hopefully let's see if we can add some more uh, thermal um, nuclear generators, I guess, because we are making the Deuteron fuel rods. I think we should have some more space or did we disconnect some? I can't remember what we did last time. All right. So these guys are doing fine. We just need more of them. Yep. Let's add there and another there. Okay. Very good. We're going to just extend this belt real quick. Oh, let me just walk over there. I'll just kind of stay in the middle here because it's god moding on me we'll copy this one for some reason that one colliding okay let's not collide ah. this is really strange i'm gonna put them as close as they can be instead of yeah, there we go. Should have been that close. Let's see if we can get our uh, sorter going in there. Yes. 
So these actually should be a tiny bit closer, but I don't think I'm going to bother with changing it. It's not really, I don't know, worth changing. How are we doing now with power? All right, we're still not satisfying our power needs at all. Not even close. Mm. Okay, these now need foundation, so that's not going to work. We need to have a new area of uh, generators. Let's see, I can put these mainly. I can add them here. <gasps> oh, wow. Look what we have problems with now. Oh, dear. This is not good. We have no no fuel rods. Oh no. Uh, all right, they're built here. What are we lacking? Hello? We're lacking something. No, we're just not we're just not making them fast enough. That's why. Okay, let's make sure that we have this being filtered that way, <laughs> because otherwise we're gonna have major problems if we completely run out of electricity. It does look like we have plenty of supplies. We're just not making them very fast. So I think that these guys last quite a long time, the fuel cells. So I feel like, ah, yes, yeah, see, they're not even pulling more in. I think it was just the run up to like, oh my gosh, yeah, using, you know, filling up all of these machines with stuff. But the sphere should start generating stuff because those power nodes, they also generate uh, electricity for us. Yeah, it says 22, mega, uh, 22 megawatts right now. This is 5.83 megawatts. So this is going to take some time to do. But overall, it should start generating us much more power. Now, one thing I do want to make sure of is we did have a tiny crisis last time with the solar sails where we almost ran out of stone. And if I had not noticed, we, we might have been in real trouble. Um, but what we are seeing, let's see, what, what can we do here with this stuff? We have these guys... And they are producing very slowly. Let's see. Are we just... We're lacking on these guys. So let's see if we can upgrade these machines. That will help a bit with speed. We're getting glass. We might have to just kind of like farm this whole thing out. I remember I did some very loose calculations on these guys and it was not... Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be that sufficient here for all of the things that we need doing. So we are we might need to look at revamping this whole thing. Now, if we look at one of our sail launchers, it should tell us, I believe, how much, uh, how many sails we need for this project. Let's see, does it sail? It just says how many sails are in orbit. Does it say? I don't think so. Hmm. Anyway. Um, I'm sure it, we will we will know at some point whether it's done or not. We'll figure it out. But yeah, this is this is pretty exciting getting all of these rockets launched and the we are still getting those rockets. But we do have some issues as I said, but we're going to have to attend to those in the next episode. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode and if you have there is a lovely little button there with a thumbs up and I'd be much appreciative if you clicked it, the like button, or if you didn't like it, if you disliked it, tell me why. You can dislike it if you want, but I would love to know what you found objectionable or horrible or whateverable. Um, but YouTube does reward um, creators with uh, extra promotion if we have interactions. So that's part of the YouTube algorithm. And that's why I often say, please like the video if you liked it or comment or tell me all the things I am here. And uh, yeah. And if you want to come to our discord and chat about it, please follow the link in the description below. We'd love to talk about this game. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.